Halo Infinite Firefight is playable right now, and these Forge maps are so good that everyone should try them. The community has been forging like crazy since Season 5 launched, and they've been delivering some truly incredible maps and experiences now that you have AI in Forge. While the official King of the Hill Firefight doesn't arrive for a few more weeks, these Firefight experiences are likely just as good if not better than what the official mode will be. With that said, links to all the maps will be in the description down below. This first map is Firefight Halo Revamped, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Reminiscent of Installation 04, a Firefight map included back in the Anniversary Map Pack for Halo Reach, Firefight Halo Revamped looks a lot like the Cliff Edge section of the CE Campaign level Halo. There is just enough cover to survive, but enough open space to keep you on your toes. On the higher AI difficulties, this is an extremely fun firefight experience. To limit the level of chaos, I recommend playing with about four players on this one, although you can do big parties. From a performance standpoint, I think this map runs pretty much the best out of everything I'm going to be showing in the video today. It's a smaller map, so it will be immediate, intense, close quarters action. You've probably already seen this map if you've been playing in the custom games browser the last week, as it's quickly emerging as one of the most popular firefight maps available right now. Next up is Snow Outpost Firefight. It's quite expansive, but don't worry, there's grapple shots pretty much everywhere, so you can zip around the map and traversal's no issue. Plus, you'll find a plethora of vehicles also at your disposal. One thing that really stands out about this map is the snowy aesthetic, which brings a unique touch to Halo Infinite. It's a nostalgic nod to earlier Halo campaigns and adds a fresh perspective to the gameplay. Seriously, we need more snowy maps. Halo is such a vibe in the snow. Now, when you're out there, be sure to grab one of the sniper rifles and hold off the advancing enemies. It's a crucial tactic to keep the upper hand on this map. And speaking of tactics, I found this one to really shine with larger player counts, ideally around eight or more. It creates a dynamic battlefield that really immerses you in the action. So gear up, grab the sniper, and get ready to dominate on this map. I also wanted to throw in Firefight Abandon. Yes, that's right. The map from Halo 4, which looks extremely good, plays fairly well in Firefight. Definitely not an eight player map, a four player map for sure, but it's really cool to see some of these throwback maps working so well with the AI sandbox within Halo Infinite. And finally, my favorite on the entire list, Firefight Core Defense Hornburg. Now this is a classic, both the map and the game mode. You're tasked with defending a moving point that the enemy is relentlessly advancing on. It's kind of like Firefight King of the Hill, but with a little bit of a twist, the points you need to defend change with each round. So this Forge experience has become pretty much my favorite because it depends on you and your team really coordinating together. Making sure that the objective is always under control is key as the enemy just continues to onslaught. You'll find tanks and vehicles aplenty and power weapons scattered all over the place, but make sure that you don't get caught off guard. The enemies have energy swords in the close quarters and the long range jackals are always working at taking you down over time. It's a true test of skill of all ranges. And finally, let's talk about the vibe and the aesthetic of this map. It is a blast from the past, reminiscent of the good old Halo CE days. I found myself losing a ton of time here on Hornburg, and I think the creators have just done an amazing job. So let's talk about the official Firefight King of the Hill that is coming later this season. It's going to be available in matchmaking and custom games. You're going to capture and defend one hill at a time, and capturing five hills will end up winning the game. If no one in your fire team dies, you'll get a perfect round. This will enable a random skull for everyone in the game, and Blind is one of those skulls. They built this using the Forge AI toolkit. A lot of what you're playing in the Firefight Forge experience is pretty similar to what we're going to be getting with King of the Hill. When King of the Hill Firefight does launch, there will be a total of nine maps, three of which are community created Forge maps, which is just so sick to see. We know that Oasis, Forest, and House of Reckoning from the campaign are going to be maps featured, and there will be awards through the medal system. Plus, what's really nice is you're going to be able to earn XP in the typical matchmaking style since this is going to be in the hopper. So if you've got old battle pass that you need to progress through, this is going to be such a cozy place to do it. The Forge community in Halo Infinite is second to none, and I am blown away at what has been created so far here in Season 5. Shout out your favorite firefight maps that I should check out in a future video, and be sure to click on the video on screen to see the Halo Infinite Battle Royale mode. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.